Welcome to Mastercast TV. Today I'm playing a game sent to me by Joe Olson, who's one of my viewers here on YouTube. And, you know, he asked me, hey, you know, you have a pseudo Saturn now. What games would you like? I know you don't want to burn them. So I'm like, hey, if you can send me Burning Rangers or something like that, that would be great. But, you know, surprise me. And this is one of the surprises. Yes, Warriors of Fate 2. Um, I've never heard of this game, actually. I've looked up a bunch of Saturn games worth playing, and this one never came up. I don't know why, but you know what? Fuck it. All right. Now, he told me this was a beat-em-up, and I'm like, all right, cool. I dig beat-em-ups. All right, I have five guys to choose from initially, so we've got this dude, that guy. I can't read any of these names. I know very little Japanese, so um, I'll go with that dude. <clears throat> Loading. All right, this is nice. Um, you know, it's funny. I'm really picky when it comes to my uh, beat 'em ups here because I know Capcom had also done Final Fight, and Streets of Rage was, you know, Sega's answer to Final Fight. And I get that, but, you know, I didn't really care for Final Fight. I, I won't lie. I, I, I think much of it has to do with the art style. Um, I just prefer Streets of Rage and its 80s action movie flair. Oh, but I am digging this. Uh, I won't lie, this is very nice. Okay, that's cool. Um, this is a little different from what I'm used to. I mean, you'll often get animal sidekicks in video games and shit. And, uh, usually you can just point in the direction that you want and, you know, that's it. But here you have to hold down the jump button in a particular direction in order to do that. So. That's a little different right there, but I'm really digging the art style. <laughs> great music, great sound effects. Um, I'm enjoying it more than Final Fight, but again, it wasn't so much how the game played, it's just that I didn't really care for the aesthetic. Um, <laughs> but so far, it's pretty sweet. I mean, it's... One of the great things about beat-em-ups is that they're, they're sort of mindless. Ugh, just want to turn the fucker around. <laughs> okay, I'm really digging the, the setting here. It doesn't feel terribly hard yet. Um, But yeah, beat-em-ups tend to be somewhat mindless. And, you know, like, I work today. <laughs> huh. That's cool. Okay, I'm just kind of... I'm doing that dick move where you just kind of keep them trapped. Oh god, I died. No. Nice. Okay. Um, so far so good. I'm really digging it. <laughs> Admittedly, I wish I could read or just understand the Japanese, but you know, it's okay. I mean, 
oftentimes we don't play beat em ups for the story. I mean, I enjoy the story. I'm weird, though. Uh, oh, no more horrors. What bullshit. I have to admit, not having the horse is a lot easier. I don't know if my attacks are faster, but... Motherfucker! Hit me with that arrow shit. Ah. Oh. That so fucking figures, I just get the sh I just get the sword, and you have to fuck it up. Oh my god. I'll never get tired of throwing people across the screen. It's always fun. <laughs> That's just not something you see in many action movies these days, you know? <laughs> I feel like an ass just slapping him up the backside of his head. Oh no! Okay, you can choose different characters, which is fine. You know, it reminds me of, uh... Uh, Hyperstone Heist. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Hyperstone Heist. Oh god. But yeah, when you die you can choose a different turtle if you want. No! Ah. Oh! Grab your ass mid-air. Grab your ass mid-air, that sounds wrong. Oh, shit. Oh, God. This guy's pretty cool. I'm liking him. I wish I knew his name. I should have researched this. And I, I criticize so many YouTubers for doing these, like, Let's Plays and not doing an ounce of research on the fucking game. It's like, I don't know if anybody watches James and Mike Mondays. I do. I'm an, I'm an AVGN fan, and really I'm more, more a fan of James Rolfe himself. I think he's pretty cool, but um, James and Mike Mondays, it's like watching him play a Sega game in particular is always painful because his knowledge is not there, and they never bother to research anything, which is painful. Like, uh, I remember they had, oh boy, they had played Star Wars Arcade, and they, they, they thought it, Star Wars Arcade on 32X, and they thought it was based on the old 1983, 1983 arcade game, and that's not the case, it wasn't, it was based on the new one, no, or at least newer, it was 1996 if I remember correctly when that came out. Or 94, 94, I think that was it. Man, I'm, my memory's starting to suck hard. Jesus, his life bar is insane. Oh, God. Oh, fuck, this guy's hardcore. Oh shit, I just got an axe. Oh fuck. So much for the axe. Yeah. Oh man, I dropped the fucking axe and I died too. Forgive me if I'm getting quiet, but uh, I'm starting to get sucked in. And I have to say, this is a good game. Uh, this is a good brawler. I think it would be uh, way better if you had a second player. 
but this is why I accept recommendations because I feel like I, I know I have a YouTube channel and everything, but that doesn't mean I know everything. Uh, <laughs> and I'm still learning shit as I go. And while I do import games, I don't, my knowledge isn't that great, especially, you know, it's hard when you like so much shit, it's hard to really keep everything in mind and you start digging deep and really just search out particular titles that everybody talks about. But this was one that just flew right by me. I had never heard of Warriors of Fate, like at all. Hell, I felt bad playing this because it's two. It's Warriors of Fate 2. And I did something great and people were cheering me on. I can only imagine the text read, congratulations, you're not a complete fuck up. Oh my God, what am I supposed to do? I have no, I don't even know what I'm doing, if I'm, what I'm doing is right. Oh, man, I think that guy just owned my ass. Man, I would have rather just kicked barrels and shit. All right, let's see where I go next. Oh, that's kind of a bummer. It would have been neat had they let you switch characters between levels. I think that would have been nice, but uh, I guess it doesn't matter. I, I suppose I could just die and select another character. But, I mean, I'm liking this guy. I'm not upset or anything. It's just that it would be nice to experience a bit more. Evil shit. That's all he said was evil shit, that text. Evil shit, ha ha ha. Okay, break the fucking box. Oh, God. Okay, I, I prefer the axe already. It, not that it's bad. It looks like it does some serious damage, but um, I can't help it. A mace just doesn't look as good. Oh, I hate that shit. Ugh. Yeah, that's right. Up your face. Oh, come on! Oh, no! Chicken! Whoa, I don't even know how that happened. Oh, I, I got a book. Hopefully that is good. Hmm. Oh man, I, I, I'm digging this. You 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 get sucked in. There's plenty of enemies, some variety to it. It's this is a damn good beat 'em up. I'm surprised more people don't talk about this. You know when people talk about the Saturn and the games that you import, um, generally I, I hear more about shooters. And you know don't get me wrong, I love shooters. I really do. Um, I, I suck at them, but they're I just find them fascinating and even you get like this amazing high going through bullet hell but it, it's um but yeah i suck at them and so many people talk about shooters and that's cool i get it but i feel like shooters are harder to fuck up <laughs> you know it's yeah, and so often like one of the reasons i don't review shooters so much is that what more can you say so many of them are the same in that you know oh you fly a spaceship you blow up other spaceships, you dodge a shit ton of bullets, and, you know, it's, you know, that's the game for the most part. Oh, but, uh, oh, God, motherfucker killed me. But, you know, that's the game for the most part. It's just, that that's it. Oh, good, okay, I'm switching up here. Cool. All right, got another guy. Ooh, all right, I got this dude way bigger. I love the animation. But anyway, uh, ultimately I feel like it's harder to fuck up a shooter. Uh, um, it's like, how can you fuck that up? Wow. Damn. I'm loving these visuals, man. Oh, fuck. 
this dude. And he has three life bars. Two and a half or two and a quarter or whatever the fuck. And shit. I, I love this new guy. Uh, Khan. Yeah, I think that's his name. <laughs> like, he's badass so far. Oh, fuck me. Oh, shit. Oh, shit, on my dick. Oh, man, he killed me already. Fuck. Yeah, knock some life down. I want to throw you in fire. Oh man, I threw him the wrong way. <sighs> oh fuck, man, that hammer is devastating. Oh, now I get fucking food, I figures. But yeah, beat em ups, I feel like you can screw up. Uh, it's much easier to screw up a beat em up. I've played some shitty beat em ups in my day. I can't really think off the top of my head if I've ever played a shooter that sucks. Like, legitimately sucks. I'm not saying I don't like it. I'm, I'm saying, like, legitimately sucks, where the control is, is delayed or the frame rate is just impossible. You know, something like that. Like, I'm talking righteously shitty. I can't think of one. But, um... But yeah, the, the similarities though with beat em ups and shooters is that they tend to be somewhat mindless. You can kind of zen and lose yourself. Because like today I worked, it wasn't a terribly great day. It was, you know, for the last week I've been pulling more eight hour days and our bakery is, has gotten much busier. And, uh, It's one of those jobs, too, where, you know, you prove that you've done something so well that they think that you should also do other people's work as well. And it's, it, it's annoying. So having something like this is great stress relief. Man, I feel like I'm just beating up Chun-Li a lot. <laughs> My, 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 ya, yeah, my, ling. Okay. <laughs> I'm waiting for one of them to be like, oh, how could you? I'm a woman. <laughs> I've been watching too much Batman Returns. Oh, fuck. All right. Okay. There we go. Whoa! <laughs> I don't know how I did that, but... This, I feel like this video is going to be way longer than I anticipated. I thought I would play like one stage, like one level at least, and just give you a taste, but now I'm kind of getting sucked into it. Thought, ah, you know, I'll play this for a little bit and then I'll jump into Batsuga. But no, uh, I'm, uh, I'm really enjoying this. Forgive me if I get quiet. Oh shit! Sometimes I just get in the in the zone and I forget I'm I'm talking to people. I mean I'm talking to myself because my tech is so primitive I haven't figured out how to record my game live and let people comment this would suck anyway because I would have to like stop and run over to the computer I don't have a smartphone so I can monitor shit that's right folks I use a flipper I use a flip phone no iPhone for me oh man I 
I, I'm, that upsets me a little bit. It would be nice if I could just throw them off the side. I was gonna say, if I went off the side, I'd be fucking pissed. It's like, I can go off the side, but they can't. What kind of shit is that? Oh, finally, cool, okay. Oh shit. Oh, get the food! Uh, no! Ah. Uh. Okay, another guy. May as well try them all out while I'm here. Alright, he looks badass. Of course, that food, that would have done me so well before. Rah, rah, rah. He's like, ready to eat people. I like this guy. He kind of has a Rambo vibe. Oh, nice. <sighs> Ooh, money. I'll take that. Money's always nice. Ah, oh, damn it. I should have saved that. really digging the setting it, it I think it's the wrong era but you know for whatever reason I just kind of think of the seven samurai and I mean like the Kurosawa flick not like some weird ass anime or anything like that I'd love to see something like that turned into a video game oh fuck ooh well thanks for the help there we go. Oh, shit. Slap my ass across the screen. Come on, give it to me, bitch. There we go. Yeah. Oh, the fuck. Do you drop food? Ah, uh, no, you don't drop food. Yay, I got chicken. Because chicken is always awesome. The animation's just solid. I mean, I guess something like this shouldn't be terribly difficult on Saturn, but still, uh, just... Uh, we, we still got screwed in the U.S., I'm convinced. If only we got more games like this, or if even Sega themselves had made more games like this. Uh, don't get me wrong, I love Die Hard Arcade. It was a beautiful beat-em-up, and I play it all the fucking time. But if we had gotten more games, you know, if they actually played to its strengths and been like, you know what, let's live up to our moniker. You know, we bring the arcade experience home. Uh, I think Saturn would have done so much better. It would have had more to offer, at least in North America. Just really upsets me. Whoa, goddamn, I'm like eating the fucker, like goddamn Blanca. Yeah, eat it. Oh shit. Those moves always made me laugh. I'm like, what is he supposed to be doing to the guy? Oh, that always makes my ass pucker, still to this day. It's like, you see that life bar in it, and it's green first, you know? It's like, oh shit. Again, I'll never get tired of throwing people. Oh shit, no, ow. And people won't get tired of throwing me. Oh, nice, super move. Well, perhaps not a super move, but you know what I mean. Oh, who's this dude? Sujin. 
Okay. Whoa, shit, and he's fucking angry. Oh, god damn it. Oh man, that's that's disturbing. His fucking life bar is blue, then it goes to purple. <laughs> oh damn. Man, this mace is some serious shit. Oh god damn it! I didn't even get to use the mace on him. Or whatever the fuck that weapon is, I don't give a shit. I'm sure somebody will correct me in the comments. Oh, there we go. Ah, it's weird to think that this is Capcom because it kind of makes me think of Samurai Showdown somewhat, except it's a beat 'em up instead of a fighting game. That's another game I love for the Saturn is uh, Samurai Showdown Four, uh, Amakusa's Revenge. That game is badass. I I really love the SNK ports on this. Ooh! Love the sound effects, the bone crunching, everything. It's it's highly satisfying. Oh shit! Motherfucker, you shot me in the back. Fucking kill you! Thank you for giving me a book. It doesn't make up for your assholishness. There we go. Gotta love that pose. <laughs> that's that's joy right there. I beat his ass. Really, Joe, I have to thank you again. This is an awesome game. Go there and kill man. Okay. With my luck, that was probably probably the bad guy. Shit, man. This motherfucker has a bloodlust. Man, okay, they're throwing a lot more bad guys at me. If this is Warriors of Fate 2, I'm I'm scared to see 3. <laughs> That game must be like a never-ending onslaught of assholes. Come on, give me somebody to hit. There we go. Loading. All right. I'll allow it. Run for your lives. Oh shit. No! <laughs> ah! The only thing that sequence was missing was a Wilhelm scream. Man, this sword is pretty fucking gnarly. Oh man, I lose the sword if I use a horse? What a crack. I mean, I know I get the lance, but fuck. Stop that! Oh god! Oh shit! Man, these guys are fucking serious.
Damn. Well, that was helpful. I won't complain. Yeah, you hold down B, make him run a little bit. Just want him to get the fuck over there. Oh shit, I lost my horse and I'm dead! Uh, Alright, I still, still have credits. Okay, I picked that guy. Ooh, alright. Bow and arrow dude. Well, there's a bit more lag with him, but I don't know if... Ooh, and I think he takes damage easier. Like, way easier. Alright. Although, I, I dig his moves. Oh shit, fuck! Oh, god damn, I'm dead! Already? Fuck! Alright, uh... I love the little images of him dead. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck, I may beat the game. Not that it matters much, you know, I can't take too much pride in it because it's on normal. But I guess that's something, I was able to beat it. Basically, my second try, this is only my second time playing it. And the first time I played it, I played it for like one level. And I thought, okay, that's really good. I'll come back to this one. Whoa, the bitch dove into a well and left the baby. Okay. That's fucked up. I wish I could read the story. I'm gonna have to look this shit up. Ah, But, okay, round six. Guess I'm not doing too bad. Wait, yeah, so now I'm going back the other way. That's weird, I came all this way, only to walk way the fuck back. Alright, whoa, shit, two swords, okay, now I feel... Whoa, cut, motherfucker, in half. Oh, shit. Oh, god damn, I'm, I, I was doing really well, I was tearing up shit, I feel like. Oh, and the sword is still there! No, uh, well it was. <laughs> okay, <laughs> got it back for like two minutes, and not even that, like three seconds. Damn, these fuckers got a lot of shit going on for them. Fuck. Fucking die. I love this guy, though. He is badass. Gan? Okay. I think I'm pronouncing his name correctly. I'm probably not, but feel free to correct me.
Yay, hey, thank you for the chicken. I'm going. Every now and then I do a run and I, I forget how I do it. There we go. Uh, just what I need. And I'm not seeing much in the way of variety when it comes to villains anymore. They're, 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 they're just starting to look the same. A random assortment of Power Ranger villains. It's like, okay, here's the same guy, but a different color. All right. That works. Ooh, scrolls. That's all I need is some reading material once I'm done killing these fuckers. I always thought it was funny in beat em ups. You have all these bad guys and they have names. I'm like, what's the point? They're not going to be on screen for very long. Where's this fucker? Okay, there he is. He's like, ah! He's like fucking Jaws from James Bond. Come on. I'm waiting for you. Come on. Let's go. <laughs> Okay, this is starting to get funny. Oh, there we go. Yay, you got to hit it. You're doing great, Zhao. Thanks, I'll take your knife. Okay. Hope I get to use it on a person and not throw it the wrong way. Oh, well. So much for hope. Oh, shit. All these guys? Oh, god damn. I finally died. It took me a while. I guess I'm doing alright. I think this may be my boy right here. This is my guy. Gee. Gee. Oh, uh, fuck. Okay, I say that and I'm trying to get my ass handed to me. Oh, god. <laughs> that was brilliant. They used their. They got blowed up by their own bombs. God damn! I hate these fuckers. What? Why is that? Whenever they have like a fat character, they always have to do this ball move where they turn into fucking Sonic and they roll after you. Is that a stereotype? Is it a cliche? Maybe a bit of column A and column B? Or a stereotype and a cliche one and the same? I do not know. Why did I turn into Mitch Hedberg? An escalator can never break down. It can only become stairs. Oh, God damn. No, fuck. Oh, shit. Yeah, you gotta move down, asshole, to hit me. There we go. Haha, <laughs> you're dead. You're dead. Okay. No! Is it that? Hmm. No! Hmm. No! Hmm. That's. That should just be their sounds. Makes sense. Holy shit. Man, some of his moves are just vicious. Oh god, I did. Man, they're just throwing everything at me now. Uh, that makes sense. It doesn't uh, you don't doesn't want to feel too easy, you know? Holy shit! It's 
Oh god, I'm dead. Don't matter, I still have another life. Yeah, eat that, you fucker. Oh shit. Oh shit, I'm just hitting stuff and I have no fucking idea what. Ah, <laughs> oh, fuck. Oh, damn, my dad. And I land right on a bun. I'm sticking with him. He's awesome. I wonder what his winning pose is. Ah, yeah, that's it. Riveting dialogue. Whatever that means. I am ready. Let me fight. Oh. too good at these bonus stages. Hmm. Whatever. Let me beat people up now. There's no point. Oh! Get a cutscene, and it looks badass. It's funny. I'm also thinking of another movie right now. Um, it's actually making me think of Red Cliff. If you haven't seen it, it's a great movie. It's uh, like John Woo's first film to be produced in Hong Kong since I want to say Hard Boiled in '92. But it's a great fucking movie. Just whatever you do, just be sure to watch the original, like, five-hour version of the film. It's it's well worth the investment. It's <laughs> It feels like John Woo, but it's not, you know, it's not gunfu or anything like that, which is what he tends to be known for here in the United States. Ooh, fucking vicious. Thanks for the money. But it's a damn good film and well worth seeing. It has Tony Lung and, oh man, this one kid, I remember him from Returner. Damn. Holy shit. Love that fucking move. I know it takes some life, but. Damn! Oh, 
Okay, I found a new favorite Saturn game. <laughs> I mean, it's not absolute favorite, but it's definitely one that I may have to include in a top 10 list. You know, I hate doing like videos in which are lists, you know? I don't like doing that too often because I feel like, you know, as long as I'm drawing breath, my thoughts and feelings are going to adjust over time. And, you know, tastes change. But, you know, that's why I hesitate to do top 10 lists. Although I'd probably get more views if I did, because for whatever reason, people are really obsessed with those things. I don't know why. I think they just want, they think, oh, I just look at this one video and I know everything I need to know about this thing. And, you know, that's it. But that really isn't the case. But, uh, really, I, I don't like that. I just feel like top ten lists and what have you are just, like, clickbait. And, and so often, what drives me nuts about those fucking lists is that, you know, it's not like somebody saying, oh, in my opinion, these are the top five best games on Saturn or what have you. It's like, no, these are the top five best games, period. And I hate that bullshit. I'm like, it's subjective, dude. No, not to say you can't make a strong argument, but at the same time, I'm like, don't, come on, be, be fucking real. Yeah, I've probably pissed off some people now. Not that many uh, content creators watch my shit. At least if they do, they're, they're not, they're not vocal. <laughs> Trying to get more calculating here. I'm like, just try and keep all these guys on the same side. Oh, shit. God damn. Uh, I have to admit, this is getting pretty intense. Oh, fuck. Oh, shit! No! Oh, you fucker! It's hard trying to break out of that grapple. Oh, Jesus. I just want to get through this fucking level now. Trying to imagine what this would have been like on Sega Genesis, or I guess Sega CD would have been <laughs> would have been a better fit, seeing as how Final Fight didn't hit Genesis, instead it went to Sega CD. And from what I've been told, it's a great port, but I've yet to play it because, again, I'm not the biggest Final Fight fan. Okay, lots of dialogue. You're gonna die. You disgraced my kingdom, or something. Oh, shit. Throw my ass across the screen, why don't you? Um, I'm sticking with my boy. My boy! I gotta stick with my boy. Oh, shit. Oh, man, I hate the fucking archers, man. Yay, treasure. Where the fuck did the guy go? Okay, I was gonna say, I'm like, did he get tired? <laughs> oh, fuck. Oh, shit. God damn, I am getting fucked up.
Oh, fuck, they just keep coming. God damn. No, come on. Ah, uh, Jesus, and I died again. I'm running out of credits here. Come on. Well, that just knocked him down a peg. Oh, good. He finally died. Probably not the worst life bar I've seen, but god damn. Did I win yet? I'm just hoping. Well, that's pretty. <laughs> I don't know how it relates to, to the story at all, but I'll go with it because it looked neat. Oh, Jesus Brown. Oh, fuck. There's more. God damn. I, you know what, I'm not really complaining, but it's just that already the game is so fucking... The game is just really starting to take no prisoners. Ah, oh, god damn it. Ah, oh, Jesus Christ. Oh. <laughs> Fuck you and that fucking bomb, you dick. Oh, shit. Hope that blows you up. Come on. There. Keep moving, bro. Come on. Oh, good. Let's hope that there is life in that shit. Oof. Man, these guys have some stupid fucking life bars. Knew there was another motherfucker. Come on. Oh, man. Oh, shit. God damn it. Uh, you can tell I'm getting close to the end because now I'm just recycling bosses. Oh, God damn. Oh, God damn it. Fucking die. Oh, shit. Yeah, that's right. Go, Gee. Go. Oh, uh, fuck! How is that fair?
Ugh. I'm starting to get exhausted just from watching this. Again, forgive me if I've gotten quiet, but damn. I just feel the end is near, so I'm just getting really focused. I'm trying to go. You won't let me go. Okay, there we go. I, I've never understood that. It's like, no, you don't approach the door until we tell you to. Oh, come on, I jumped. Oh, God, cut that fucker in half. That's still a neat move. I don't get tired of it. Do get tired of those guys, though. I won't lie. Oh, God damn, that fucking archer. Ugh. Door open, yay! Oh, don't bother opening it. Just bust through the shit. Oh fuck! Oh well, if it's gonna be that way, I mean, I guess I could have just left it there, but I'm kind of concerned. Ah. Uh, are, are these guys like brothers or something? I'm just trying to, you know, I, I doubt they rarely ever explain why characters look so similar in these games, but it, it would be interesting. I guess they are. It's always Zhao Chui or Zhao Zhang and Zhao Chu and... Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck me. Up the ass. Oh, come on. Oh, boy. One credit. I'm getting down to the end here. There we go. I'm, I've got this, and I don't know what it is. Is this the final boss? Oh, oh, and of course I lose the weapon. Oh, no, of course not. I gotta go through a bunch of fucking bosses I've already done before. Ah. Ah. 
Oh, come on, you fucking bitch. Oh, God damn it, I died. So this is like it for me. I think. Pretty sure you know, I die here, I'm done. No more credits. Another big door and probably more bosses that I've beaten in previous levels. Oh no, I'm getting some text. Oh shit! Oh boy, it's one of you guys. All right, I got gotcha. you. Oh come on! Fuck! I was fucking him up. Ah, oh, damn! And I'm dead. Yep, that's it. I'm done. Oh, God. I don't even know if that was the final boss. All right. AJR, that's right. Andrew Joseph Rosa, that is me. Uh, uh, my score is ass. <laughs> At least I feel it is. But anyway, that was Warriors of Fate 2. And, uh... You know, I, I I love this game. It's pretty badass. I mean, it's like so many beat-em-ups. It gets a little uh, monotonous at times. But, you know, again, it just throws more and more shit at you until you think you're about to crack. And really, it's diverting. You know, I've forgotten all about my work today. So I feel this game did the job. And, uh, yeah, this... This is good. So if you haven't heard of Warriors of Fate, if you're like me where, you know, you read the occasional article talking about some of the best games for the platform and you've never heard of Warriors of Fate, well, now you have. Warriors of Fate on Sega Saturn is awesome. To be perfectly clear, Warriors of Fate 2. 2. So I'd say if you can, either find yourself a copy or burn it either way. So long as you play it. If you enjoy a good beat-em-up, you... I Really, I can't imagine you doing that much better than Warriors of Fate 2. But, who knows, there's probably a bunch of beat-em-ups on Saturn I have yet to play. So, we'll see. But, until next time, thank you for watching me play through this. And again, thank you, Joe Olson, for a badass fucking game. And thank you for introducing me to this. I really appreciate it. But... Anyway, until...